Hi, 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 welcome to Codevo. This is day 5 of 100 days of code. And uh, the question for today is uh, anagram palindrome. So let me just explain you what the question is. Uh, given a string S, yes, check if characters of the given string can be rearranged to form a palindrome. Okay, this is the question statement. So uh, let us consider this example, right? So we are given the string geeks, so geeks. Okay, and we have to check if it is an anagram palindrome. Okay, so what it means that uh, if you rearrange these letters and you uh, and you could form a string which will be a palindrome. The given string might not be a palindrome. It is not necessary that the given string will be a palindrome. But if you rearrange the letters in the given string, you should be able to form a palindrome. You have to check if this condition is true for the given string. So for this particular input, geeks so geeks, you could rearrange these letters like geek. Uh, like geek s o s k e e g and this is a palindrome right because yeah obviously it's a palindrome so uh, this is an anagram palindrome and you have to return true for this particular input because uh, yeah if you rearrange the uh, given string you will end up with this string and this happens to be a palindrome so how exactly do we solve this question okay so there are, are a few other techniques as well, but uh, we are going to use a very simple technique and that involves hash map. So even in uh, yesterday's uh, daily, uh, like yesterday's 100 days of code question, we were using hash map, right? So it's very similar to that. So initially we are going to create a hash map and we are going to calculate the number of occurrence of these letters in the original string right so uh, the characters and their frequencies you will understand why i am doing this in a bit so the letter g has occurred two times the letter e has occurred i'm sorry it's not quite well so okay fine the letter e has occurred four times K has occurred two times, S has occurred twice, and O has occurred once. Okay, now if you could see something, all these frequencies are even numbered, and this only one letter is odd numbered, right? So, what it denotes is that this combination of letters can actually form a palindrome so it's quite simple right so uh, a palindrome is simply when you traverse from both sides it should have the same letters right so the starting and ending character of this is same right the second last characters of these uh, letters uh, like this string and the second character is the same so if you could consider this uh, there is an empty string and you have a pile of letters you are sending one letter to the beginning, you are sending one letter to the end. So you can arrange this string so that it becomes a palindrome. So in order for you to do that, you should have even number of characters if the string is even in length. Okay. So let us say that we don't have this O. Okay. E if Even if we remove this O, uh, let me just highlight this. Even if we remove this O, you will end up with a palindrome okay because this is an odd length string so when it comes to an odd length string there should be a middle element and every element to the left of it will be replicated with elements to the right of this so uh, to the left of o we have s and to the right of o also we have s and similarly k k e e e e and g okay so this is basically it. So if the given string is of odd length, there should be only one character with odd frequency and other every character like every other character should have even frequency. And if the length of the original string is even, every character should have even frequency. So this is the condition and I hope you understood this. Now we'll try to program this and see how this works. So we are supposed to complete this function and uh, we are given the string as input. So 
the initial step would be finding the frequency of the characters in this original string. So I'm just going to create a hash map here, unordered map, and it is going to store a character as its key and an integer as its value, and it is named hmap. Fine. Now we are going to traverse this given string and we are going to count the letters that is present in the string, right? I'm just going to use a for loop for that. Int i equals zero, i less than s dot size and i plus plus. So this loop is going to traverse from the starting of the string up until the last character and we are just going to add it into the hash map. So hash map of s of i plus plus. So if you have already uh, watched the previous episode, you would know that in hash map, the values by default will be zero. Okay. So when I increment it, it will become one. And if it is already one, it will become two. So this particular for loop will calculate the frequency of every single character present in this string. Okay. Now, once this is done, you are just going to traverse through this hash map and see how many odd occurred characters are present in this string okay so i'm just going to create a variable called odd count odd count and i'm going to initialize it to zero okay now we are going to traverse through this hash map and we are going to use the auto data type for that okay you can also create a reference for uh, unordered map and use that as well but uh, auto is uh, much simpler okay so yeah here we go uh, auto i dot hash map i colon hash map and uh, this is going to iterate through every single entry in the hash map and we are going to see if the frequency of the current character is a even value so how we do how would we do that i dot second will give us the value right and we are going to see if it is even by uh, using the modulo operator 2 right mod 2 will check if it is even if the reminder is 0 it means that it is even so you can just continue if not it means that it is an odd freak uh, like it has occurred odd number of times and i'm just going to increment the odd count variable okay now once this loop has been executed you would uh, you would end up with a variable called odd count that says how many letters in the string has occurred odd number of times. Now we have done the pre-processing. Now we are going to check if exactly this string is an anagram palindrome or not. So first we'll see if the original string, the input string is even or odd, right? So if s dot size mod 2 equals 0, it means that it is an even length string. So the odd count should be zero because no letter should have occurred odd number of times uh, if the given string is even in length right so i'm just going to give the other condition here as well odd count equal to zero i hope this is clear i'm just going to explain it once again if the size of given string is even every character in the string should have occurred only even number of times only then you could make a palindrome out of it by rearranging its characters if one character has occurred odd number of times it you can never form a palindrome uh, with even number of letters with it right so it, it is not possible i hope it is clear so yeah if this condition is true it means that it is an anagram palindrome and you can return one for that now the other condition where it you would end up with an anagram palindrome is that the size of the string is odd right so mod 2 not equal 0 it means that the size is odd okay it in that case the odd count should be 1 and not more than that right if it is more than one it's not possible okay fine uh, like only one character can be of odd length only then you can end up with a 
palindrome if multiple characters are of odd length uh, you cannot make a palindrome out of it right it, it's quite obvious and in this case also you can return one because the size is not odd and one character is present with odd number of frequency it is fine now if both these conditions are false you can just return zero and say that it can never be a anagram palindrome and i hope this is it now we'll try and execute this and see if it works properly so all test cases have been passed and uh, you have solved the question hopefully you understood this if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments and i'll uh, get back to you uh, thank you so much for watching see you on tomorrow's video bye for now